Hi, I'm Jill, Applied Nutritionist from Australia. Today I'm going to show you this amazing Versa blender. It is a huge, powerful 1400 watt blender, which enables you to make magnificent hot soups, beautiful smoothies, crushes ice, and it will even mill nuts and grains. Let's start with the motor itself down here. It has non-stick feet, which means that it will stay nice and firm on the base of the kitchen bench. The program dial here is quite easy to operate. It comes with three preset programs. The first one is smoothies. The second one is soups. The third one is dips. You also then have the dial, which means that you can operate how fast or how slow you want the blend to go as well. The jug itself is BPA free and it's made of Triton. This means if I accidentally drop it, it won't crack, break, or scratch. The blades inside are a six series stainless steel blade system. This forms enormous power to chop through any ingredient that you place in the jug. The rubber mat is easily removed for cleaning. So if you do have any spills, you just simply take that off and wipe down the surface of the blender. And then place it back on. Nice and easy. I find this blender unique in the blender range. I've used lots of different ingredients in it from green kale, spinach, to whole carrots and I always get a perfectly smooth result. Today I'm going to make a Thai carrot soup and show you exactly how this blender can produce soup. So let's start by removing the lid. You notice that the lid has a really tight, firm seal. That's to hold in any heat whilst the soup's being made. Also, you'll notice that I'm going to put the carrots in whole. Nutritionally, this is the best way to eat any foods. Because the blender is so powerful, I don't need to cut anywhere at all. I've also not peeled the carrot because most of the nutrients are just under the surface of the skin. So let's place the carrots in. In they go. Now the water. I've got some garlic, chili, fresh ginger, some nice fresh coriander leaves. And my secret ingredient, cashew nuts. This gives the soup a beautiful creamy texture and is really good for you, high in protein. And last of all, some chicken stock. You could always use vegetable stock though if you wish. Place the lid back on and we're now ready to make soup. But I want to explain first how the soup function works. There is no heating element in this blender. So how do we get soup so hot? The temperature reaches 85 degrees Celsius in this soup. So I want you to imagine the force of a cyclone or a hurricane that goes so fast around. 
Rub your hands together really hard and you'll start to feel a frictional heat. And this is how heat is formed in the blender. The blades spin so fast at 28,000 revs per minute, it forms a frictional heat. And that is what's going to cook this soup. So let's put it to the test. First of all, to select the program, turn the dial down until you see a red flashing light. Then select the soup function. Wow, it's finished. In five minutes and 30 seconds, we now have hot soup. Let's take a look. Be careful when you remove the lid, because like I said, it is hot. Oh, it smells so good. Isn't that fabulous? Such a nutritious meal to have. And to think that only in five minutes and 30 seconds from raw ingredients, we have a beautiful Thai carrot soup. Lovely. I mentioned earlier that the Versa is also really good at milling foods. So I want to show you how powerful this actually is by making a mango ice cream, which is just so delicious. So let's place the sugar into the jug. Put the lid back on nice and tight. This time I'm going to use the manual dial and just on a low speed. looks like snow and that has turned the crystal sugar into this fine powder sugar we're now ready to make the rest of the ice cream add the mango the mango is frozen and this is what creates the actual ice cream. We'll put a little bit more in. Now, if you didn't have mango, you could use frozen peaches, pineapple, strawberries, raspberries, and any other of your favorite fruits. To add a little bit of flavour, I'm going to put a tiny bit of powdered ginger. And then two cups of cream. Place the lid back on. And this time you'll need to use the tamper. The tamper is used through the lid and this is just going to help blend the ice cream. So we'll use the manual dial again and just on a low speed.
and look at that beautiful ice cream. Lovely. How easy was that? The verse of Blender is also so powerful that you are able to mill from grains and nuts into flour. This is especially good for those that are on special diets where those types of special flours are quite expensive. Today I'm going to show you how to turn rice into rice flour. Place the rice into the jug. Put the lid back nice and firm and then using the manual dial on about mid speed, process the rice. you can stop and have a look and see how fine the rice is and then determine if you still need to process it further. So let's have a quick look. Just feel to test to see if it's fine enough. I can tell it still needs a little bit longer so we'll do it just about 30 more seconds. pretty done to me. Let's have a look. So you can see that that has milled that rice into a lovely fine flour. We can now turn this rice flour into dumpling dough. That's really, really powerful. From the rice flour that we made earlier in the Versa, we're now going to turn that rice flour into dumpling dough. To do that, we have the rice flour already in the blender. I'm going to add tapioca flour and just blend that together first. Using the manual dial just on low speed. That's enough to blend those two flowers together. Remove the cap from the lid, and now we're going to add oil and boiling water to the flowers. I'll just turn the dial on to low. And on a low speed, I slowly add the boiling water. Stage, I'm now going to turn the program button down and use the pulse program here. You can see that's now flashing red. This means that I can activate the pulse. I now have more control over the blending. Add a bit more hot water. and pulse again. By using the pulse button, this enables the dough to fold and knead. Perfect for bread baking. Add some more 
hot water and do the same process. hot water and pulse again. I can now see the dough starting to form. Take a closer look. Just test with the fingers and see how that's going. That's not too bad. Just a little bit longer. another look and that's formed a fairly good dough and it's now ready to be turned out onto the board. Now be careful when you put your fingers in here those blades are sharp. Take the dough out onto the board and at this stage, just using a little bit more flour, you can then knead the dough until it's nice and pliable. You can see that it's starting to get smoother. And there we have a nice dumpling dough ready to roll out. So let's just go over the features again in summary of the Versa. It's a 1400 watt motor. It's excellent at blending, pureeing, emulsifying and milling. So things such as flour, nut butters, smoothies and soups down to ice crushing, it's a really powerful blender to be able to do all of that. And also because of the power of the blades, that means you don't have to chop fruits and vegetables up so finely, which means it's retaining more nutrients. <laughs>